Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. For today's session, we are at 1.2, and we'll be kind of covering how to adjust the start end, and for a few of these samples, some loop points. We'll see how that goes. Um, just a few notes. Um, I've only I'm holding the microphone, so I only got one hand to do this. Um, hopefully, in my setup, I'll get a microphone going soon. But anyway, just a quick review. Uh, for what we did from 1.1, we just recorded in some pads. And you see the drums <laughs> have nothing going on. So let's, let's focus on the drums first. So first thing we want to do is hit the start and end. So let's, uh, control one is your start time. Control three is your end. So I'm just going to... A little bit of a shaker kind of sound in there, but I'm fine with that. So maybe I'm not. Let's just get it out. See how it sounds. I'm gonna use the knob here to zoom in a little bit. You can hear there's kind of a clipping to it. So I think like the length I kind of like, but if I can get to a zero point here, we might be okay. Or not. So to fix this part of the problem, you need to go to the envelope section, hold shift, and then pitch and speed. And what we want to do is at the release, set it to one. So it's kind of a short kick here, but I'm fine with it. So, you know, attack zero, so it just goes uh, full blast and release of one. Exit back out, we'll get to here. Now, I do want to check the start. Let's just tighten this up. It'll just make it, uh, what the heck? The, I messed up the end point here. Darn it. Sorry about that, guys. We will get the kick back. Let's see if we make it a little longer. There we go. All right. All right, we're good. So we're going to get to the second one. And I want just the shaker by itself. So again, use control one, control two. And zoom in to tighten up where your sample starts. And I'm just kind of looking at where the line is just to kind of make sure. I'm not too worried about the endpoint. And if I did want to clean this up just to get rid of the extra audio that's in here on the start and end, you can go to just do truncate real quick. I wouldn't suggest normalizing. This does look like we're still got some room to do that. Anyway, we'll truncate. Is the clap I wanted here. Yeah. So again, start and I'm just gonna just do truncate on these real quick. Alright. We're good. And then I think there was the, the, that crash. That kind of cymbal sound. So I'll get this. And I'm not hearing a click on the end, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, that kind of gets us this. And again, tighten up the start. All right, so got a few sounds. Now we've got this. As I said, it's kind of starting on a weird spot. So, and it's. Let me zoom in. We'll get out to about the end. Here, click. Might have to fix that with the envelope but I just moved it out so it's a little bit further. We'll zoom out. I want to capture probably to the end here. We'll just get four of these. Get pretty tight to the end here. Now what should happen if I hold this, you can see it stopped. So what you can do is you can hit loop. So now if I hold it down, you can see the loop points in the wrong spot. I want it to, the, in this case I want the loop and start to be at the same spot. So as long as I hold this pad down, it will now play forever. And I want to do the same thing for the second loop. Just uh, zooming in. Okay, not having any clips at the beginning. And we'll just do four again. Get close to the end. And push the loop button. Should be good. 
the loop is in the wrong spot. So again, in this case, I want the loop in the start at the same. All right, seems pretty good. And for the rest of these, I probably don't need to do any truncating or trimming them. I'm not too worried about it. So I think for uh, today, we're in pretty good shape. We've got everything set up. So we've got start and end points. We've got a couple lo pads looping here. So anyway, uh, guys, take it easy, and we'll catch up again tomorrow. Bye.